Well, if you're like my family, you have a stocking or two hung for your pets tonight. News Channel reporter Mina Wahab shows us how some are celebrating a canine Christmas. Christmas is just a day away, and you might think that people are only buying gifts for friends and families, but they're also buying gifts for their four-legged furry friends, like this guy right here. Sheva Bakir had a debilitating fear of dogs for decades until she met Teddy. He's loving, caring, beautiful dog, very smart, very protective. Now she's celebrating Teddy's first Christmas by having him open his own gifts, an idea her neighbor Amy inspired her to make a yearly tradition. So, let's open your other gift. Let's open. Oh, you have more. You have more. Sheva isn't the only person celebrating her fur baby's first Christmas. Ventura County resident Wendy Kelly has lots of gifts lined up for the newest addition to her family, Gizmo. This is our stocking for the dogs. And we have treats and cookies, have animals, and sometimes we even have puppies. Kelly says that the holidays just wouldn't be the same without dogs. They're just a big fulfillment into your life. I mean, I don't know what, it would be so empty without pets in our life. Jessica Watson is celebrating her 12th Christmas with her Cocker Spaniel Chihuahua. He was my baby for 10 yeah, years, nine baby. years before they came along. Um, and he is definitely still a big integral part of our family. Pet owners like Jessica aren't just celebrating the holiday season by getting their pets toys. They're also dressing them up in festive Christmas outfits. His pajamas matches their Christmas pajamas. <laughs> Teddy is sporting a full reindeer costume just for the holidays. In Santa Barbara County, I'm News Channel reporter Mina Wahab.